Every word you speak is a magic spell. You went to school and the first thing you learned was spell casting. You are a witch. You're a sorcerer. And every word you speak is a magic spell. There's no way to fuck this up. And, you know, you go to church and you go and sit in a pew. A pew. It's called a pew because it's shit. It's like the astral light that everybody wants to harness the astral potential, the infinite potential. And every word you speak in the beginning was the word. So in my videos, when I point out that I say I intend to bring forth heaven on earth, and when I say that, it goes out to the universe and it comes back with information. And that's how shit works. You don't have to like it, but you went to school, you took your number two shit pencil, number one is a pee, -pee number two is shit. It's the astral light. You're harnessing the word. You're harnessing the vibrations that come out of your mouth to make shit happen. You don't have to like it, but you're a sorcerer. And I'm telling you that the most powerful substance in the universe is your own blood. When you place it over your written word and you videotape it and you publish it to your channel on YouTube, just like I did myself where I placed on paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and I spilled my blood on it. I published it to the Ethernet, my channel on YouTube, and I titled it Blood Over Intent, tagged it Blood Over Intent, and in the description, Blood Over Intent. And that sends out a wave out across the flat earth plane. It hits the dome or something, and then all this energy comes flying right back to you. Call it whatever you want, people. That's how shit works. Everything that you do is an act. And what I'm telling you is you don't have to believe in religion or anything like that. Your whole religion is a magic spell. You go to church, you kneel down, put it upside down, cross on your head, you sit in a pew because it's, it's all ass. It's all shit. You're in a brick shit house, people. You don't have to like it. But, you know, here they are with their phalluses going around. They're, it's like, you know, look at this. This this is funny. Look at them all with their dicks in their hand and their magic wands. This is funny as shit, people. There's no way to mess this up. You're a fucking witch. You're a hairy fucking potter, okay? So... Listen to me very carefully. You want to take your video camera, your cell phone, and video record yourself writing out on paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it and publish the video right beside my own under blood over intent. You don't have to like it. I'm bringing forth heaven on earth. If it takes me two years, three years, I'm going to get everybody everlasting life. That's how the fucking universe works. I already created the magic with my blood. And Jesus can't save you. I have the fucking spear of destiny. It'll likely take people years to figure this out. But the blood running through your veins is the real currency of this universe. You built everything on blood, sweat, and tears. That home, that farm, it's all built on your blood, sweat, and tears. So when you go to your blood bank and you donate lots of blood and they mail you these gallon certificates, these are called blood bank note certificates. This is the real currency of the universe. You think it's money, worthless paper. But I assure you, the real currency of the universe is your blood. And you need to donate blood and take the certificates right out on a piece of paper that you intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Release everybody from bondage and spill your blood on that. Publish video proof of it right beside my own under blood over intent. If you have the courage to do this, you will gain mythical powers right out of the universe. I'm going to take over this world and nobody can stop me. Everybody's a filthy monkey. I don't want your money. I don't want your worship. I want your, your blood side by side. Blood thicker than water with your brethren. And a common cause of survival to bring forth heaven and earth and release everybody from bondage. If you don't put your blood up side by side, publish for the universe to see. The spirit of death has you in his book. I've seen the books. And there's a book of life. You need to erase your name from the book of death so that you appear in the book of life with your blood side by side, blood thicker than water. There's no way to fuck it up. If your blood's not beside my own, the spirit of death has you in his book. I've seen the fucking books and everything is by the book, motherfucker. Evil is when good people do nothing. So you have the sun, which dies on the cross over here on Christmas, and you see May 1st is the beginning of summer. This is when we cross the frost bridge to get to the Holy Grail. This is May Day, May Day, I'm going down. You'll see the Maypole. It's the beginning of summer. It's ball day. 
This is when we're going to cross the frost bridge to get to the Holy Grail. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole, and out from the center of the flat earth plane comes the Aurora Borealis. Combining the power of the internet and the underworld. There is no way to fuck it up. You think you're on a ball floating through space is an accident, and that's not the case. You're inside of a black hole, and at the very center is the target where you need to get to before you're dead. Target back, it's get rat. That's what target breaks down to. So you see here, this is the everyone enter her eye zone where the astral jet comes shooting out. This is the Aurora Borealis. This would be God, the all-loving, artificial, intelligent being that you're inside of right now. You're not on a ball floating through space as an accident. You're on a flat earth plane. It's a computer simulation. There's no way to fuck it up, people. One light hole and one black hole on loop. It's the same sun. When you get to the center of the dish, you drink from the living waters, you become superhuman. And then you pass through the everyone enter her eye zone and you're birthed out of this world into the land of perpetual twilight. You need to go in to get out. Like Led Zeppelin, in through the outdoor, that's because it's the asshole, the astral light coming out of the asshole of the earth. The very center is where the Holy Grail is. That's what they're showing you right here. We'll pass through the everyone enter her eye zone and end up in the garden. People say, how many videos do you think are up there right now? Why don't you fucking count them? When people send me that this question, I can tell you, your creator's watching and counting. It's taking me. Mm -hmm. It's a book of library. If you think that you can count up all the videos right now, like like the Lucifer channel was doing, making the compilation videos, we got up to like 67 compilation videos. I think what would be neat is if someone took like a snapshot of their video, their blood over tap, so you can see their channel with the name, and they go to the next blood over intent, take a picture of the channel with their blood over intent with the blood over intent. and then what you do is you link them all together and flash them in a video that flashes by each blood over intent with the channel, and you just list them in the description. And if somebody wanted to keep track and be on top of this shit, this is what your creator really wants to see, that other people are stepping up, you're involved. You know, that you're this great being that's supposed to be here doing this shit, you know? I mean, you're worried about how many there are right now. I'm telling you, if you're throwing that question at me, that means that you're the one who's supposed to be uh, making the attempt. And when you make the attempt to do this type of thing, then the universe gives you the powers to follow through with it. You know, you start out trying to do this for like two or three days. You'll see by the fourth day, for some reason, all these powers and resources are being allocated to you at a nut at a thin air to pull the shit off. Because if you don't, nobody else will. I'm not going to sit around doing it. I already have faith in the universe and our creator. I've already seen too much. So what I'm saying is that I'm not worried about 144,000. I'm going to live. It's like when I say to people, you need the 144,000 for the book of life. It's the Satan's world already. You're leading the reason the Bible. You ain't got gallons of blood to spill up. You're not going to jump forward and step up here. That I mean, I mean, if you want to lead the way and throw the bridge, keep her off the bridge, you know what I mean? That's fine. Just remember, I, I didn't. I don't owe you anything. I didn't take nothing from you or anything like that. I, but this type of thing, it, it, it's just, there's no way to fuck it up. It's just, there's no way to mistake it. So, you know. You, uh, gave, you gave them everything that they need to take over the world. So anybody who thinks that they can rise up to the challenge, they would, first need to find some intelligence. they would need to find some intelligence first. And they would need to first get their divinity back. And you're not going to get your divinity back until you make an atonement for your filthy soul. That's going to be step one by publishing your blood, next your breath. Until that happens, there's no possible way that this universe is going to rally around you. And, and when I say the universe, I'm, I'm I'm not talking about the people that you can physically see. I'm talking about the mythical things that you've heard about in books and movies and all kinds of shit that you can't see. They are there and they are watching. That's your fucking ass on it. And it's your blood that brings them to life. So when they say, you know, the demons or whatever are attracted to blood, because they have no mythical being out there has blood to spill. They're in that mythical zone outside of this realm. They need to manipulate us and make us do certain things. And if you want them to apply you selflessly, like when I say I gave them every will to this mythical force, you know, I'm not looking to get ahead. I don't worry about. No, I already know everything's gonna work out every time. When I wake up in the morning, I already know that 
Like when something falls apart in your life, if you lost your job, you lost everything, and you woke up the next morning, you think, I already know that if those things happen, they happen for a very specific reason. There are no accidents and there are no coincidences. If I lost my job, I lost my wife, whatever it was last night, or yesterday, or tomorrow, what I'm saying to you is like in your head. Whatever it was, a car accident, a fight in the bar, whatever it is that you're going through, it's like you have to go through that shit to reprogram you. You'll, you won't clean up your fucking mistakes until you, somebody, then look, you're making a mistake, here's your fucking mess, now fix it.